Hello, baseball fans. You're watching On Deck with Tyler Redman. Braves manager Brian Snicker said Kyle Wright and Waskari Noah are probably the front runners for the two open starting rotation spot. Now, that doesn't mean that they're going to be the guys, but they are the front runners. Let's talk about the front runners. First off, we're going to talk about Kyle Wright. Before today, Kyle has three innings pitched on spring training. Uh, to be honest with you, it, it's just too small of a sample size to really tell you how it's going to translate to you know, opening day and, and, and his first start in the major leagues. So I'll say this. When it comes to Kyle Wright, he can be successful. We have seen him be successful in the major leagues. He looked good in the World Series last year. Go look up his stats. He, he had the pressure of the world on him, and he was able to perform even with that. So he can have success. He was great in college at Vandy. He can be successful, but consistency is Kyle Wright's biggest struggle. Can he do it every fifth day? That's what we got to see out of him. Hopefully he can show us all a repeat of what we saw in the World Series last year. Maybe he can, you know, come out of that with some confidence and, and perform on a consistent basis. But that's what I need to see out of Kyle Wright. Now, when it comes to Waskar Inoa, uh, Waskar Inoa had the epitome of an up and down year last year. Believe it or not, at the start of 2021, he was one of, if not the most consistent starting pitcher on the Braves roster. It looked like he was who we were going to count on for a postseason run, not to mention he had a pretty good bat, too. Uh, but him breaking his hand, of course, changed things. If you take a look at his first and second half splits real quick, this is interesting. Now, the stats overall, I'm just going to tell you, seem really similar. Nine games in both, 44 versus 46 innings pitch. I mean, this is a very good comparable sample size. Now, the win-loss, that, that look at that. That's 4-2 and two versus 0-4. Oh Strikeouts, even. Walks. He had a little bit more, but not too many. But his strikeout per nine rate, right there together. Uh, but the ERA, look at that ERA, 302 versus 505. Now, part of that is luck, you know, and, and who's hitting. Part of that is whether or not you're coming out of the bullpen, whether or not, you know, the situation may be different. But can't the, the biggest question for Waskar, in, in my opinion, uh, is when runners get on base, can he keep them from scoring? Can he limit damage when it's unavoidable? Because people are going to get on base. Batters are good. They're going to get on base. But can he perform when there are runners on? Is he able to do that? To me, this is the year where Waskar Noah becomes a regular on the starting rotation. He's another one of these guys who has been right there and has quality stuff, has got good stuff. But can he perform on a regular basis, much like Kyle Wright? And that's why I, I don't think it's said and done. Snit said they are the front runners. That does not mean that that is the rotation. That does not mean that Max Freed, Charlie Morton, Ian Anderson, Waskari Noah, and Kyle Wright will be taking the field all year long. I think it's going to be an ongoing competition between those three guys and Waskari Noah, Kyle Wright, and Tucker Davidson. And you can add on all the other ones if you'd like to. Tucker Davidson, Tookie Toussaint. Uh, I would even throw in Spencer Strider, who had a pretty good day-to-day -day and flirted around 100 miles an hour a few times. I think it's going to be an ongoing competition for the starting rotation, like it should be on the back end. And we have the pitching prospects. The back end of the rotation does not need a, a veteran lights-out approach. It can be competed over. And I think that's healthy for the team. I think it's good for the team. And I think it's good for these young players as well. Baseball fans, make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to this channel. As always, thank you for your support.